My name is William Justice and this is about learning filmmaking. The other day I was watching TV and I saw this commercial with a confetti effect. I thought that might be something interesting to try, so I figured I might uh, give it a shot and see what I could put together. Now I know that there's confetti effects and you can get overlays and you know put them in there and do all sorts of great stuff, but I wanted to see what I could do on my own. Um, so I kind of I'm going to try two different things today and we're going to see what we can come up with. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is some arts and crafts time. Get some scissors, some paper, cut it up. I'm going to set up a black background, drop the confetti on top of the black background, and set it up as an overlay effect and put that in there and see if we can get some real confetti and check it out and see how it looks. Okay, after arts and craft time, we're going to get onto the computer, get into DaVinci Resolve, load up Fusion, and create our own particle emitter that generates some confetti for us. We'll compare that and see how it looks. So over here we have real confetti. Over here we have particle emitter. Stick around to the end to see all the stuff we're going to do. If you like my videos, subscribe, comments, questions, I would love to hear from you. I'll get right back to you. Um, let's get started. Let's make some confetti. Our confetti clip loaded in the timeline. This was filmed at 120 frames a second um, and I also um, bumped up the shutter speed um, pretty good so that the particles wouldn't uh, be too blurry so it's getting a pr pretty good picture of them. Um, let me play this so you can see what we have. So we got our particles falling across the background just like that. Now I've loaded this in over another clip and the first thing we want to do is we want to slow it down. So we're gonna hit Control R to get to the um, three time and we're going to set it, change the speed to 25%. So that's going to stretch it out so the particle, particles will fall a little bit slower. Just like that. Now to get this to um, show through, we got a back background so we can change the, the composite mode to screen. And you can see the particles will show through. Okay, it doesn't blend exactly right. Um, you can see a little bit of the black background um, in the back, so we're going to need to make a change to the image. So let's flip the com composite mode back to normal, and you can see we see the background. So what we need to do is we need to go into the color area and take those blacks and bring them way down so it's a solid color. So we're going to get rid of the, the clip below it and go into the color area, and we're going to take Take the go to the curves and just drag the bottom over to where we pretty much get a solid black. And edit that, and you'll see what we have now. You can see the particles are falling. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going I'm going to take this and I'm going to actually save it out as another file. So I'm going to go to deliver and create the confetti overlay. And I'm going to load that back in, and we'll see what it does. Okay, I've created the confetti overlay and loaded that loaded that back in. We're going to change the composite mode back to screen. And that's going to remove the black and let the confetti show on top of the video that's below it. Okay, let's create a quick confetti effect using uh, Fusion in DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to right click in the media pool and say new Fusion composition and let's set it for, uh, we're going to do 25 seconds. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, hit create. Take that, drag it into the timeline, and click Fusion. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to these guys over here. We have a uh, particle emitter, a particle merge, which I, we're not going to need to use for this one, and then we have a particle renderer. So we'll take the particle emitter and particle renderer, put those down, take the output of the emitter, go into the renderer, and the renderer goes into the media out. And you can see what we have, have in the media out is we get um, we get these little particles. 
Okay, we're going to get into the particle emitter. The first thing we want to do is change the particle type. So we're going to create our own um, particle. We're going to create a put a background down here. I'll hit one so we can see it in the this viewer over here. I'm going to take this rectangle and drag it into the mask. So this is going to be our, we're going to have a little uh, square particle like this. And we're going to click on the background and change the color to white. To get the square to be a particle, we got to make a change in the particle emitter. So we're going to click on the particle emitter and go over to the inspector area. Click on the, the brush icon for the style, and we're going to change the style to bitmap. Then we get this input here, and we can take our background and slide it into the emitter. And you can see we have some, some things over here on the right-hand side. And those are the particles. So We'll back the number down because we don't need quite that many for what we're going to do. We'll put it at, uh, let's put it at two. There's, so there's a lot of settings you can change. I'll make this full screen. Um, the first thing we're going to change is the velocity. And this is how fast the particles move. So you can see that they're all, when we change the velocity, they're going to move faster. So you see they're coming out right like that. But what we want is we want the particles to go in a, in a specific direction. We want the particles to fall down. So what we're going to do is change the angle to negative 90. And once we have to do that, then we have our particles, they're falling down. Let's move them up a bit. So we want the particles to not come out of this green area, we want them to come out across the entire screen. So we're going to go into the region setting and change it to a line. And that allows us to create a line and the particles will be emitted from that line region. We'll go ahead and move the line to the top of the screen like that. And you can see that we have the beginnings of the confetti falling. Okay, so we're gonna we want to randomize it a little bit. So we'll click on the emitter, go to the settings area. And we're going to change the rotation. So when we change the the Z thing, you can see that they all rotate around. Um, we'll set it to about 90, so they're all kind of pointing down like that. And then we're going to change the Z variance. And what that's going to do is that's going to modify each of the particles and vary it by a little bit different amount. So that's how you can get some randomness. Then we're going to go into the spin. And we're going to we're going to change the uh, spin a little bit and the spin variance. So as they're falling, they're going to be spinning. That's probably a little too much. So let's uh, let's, let's reset these, and we're just going to do it just just a little bit. Okay. Now you notice that they're all falling straight down. So what we, what we want to do is change the, the angle a little bit. We, remember when we set the angle to negative 90, we're going to change the variance so that they're all not exactly falling at negative 90. They're falling at a slightly different angle. And let's give them a little bit, a little bit more rotation. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's not, that's not too bad. Next, we're going to change the, uh, the size. So we're going to go back into the style, click on size controls, and we're going to do, change the size variance. So that means that they'll all be a little bit different sizes. So some of them will be bigger and some of them will be smaller. So we have quite a few. I'm going to change it so we don't have quite so many on the screen. Let's go back. We'll just put it um, the number to one and that'll kind of cut it in half. Okay, that's pretty good. Now the next thing we're going to do is get the color changed. So we're going to go back into the style area and go to color controls. And we made our um, we made the rectangle white, and that's going to allow us to colorize them. So we're going to go to color variance, and we're going to uncheck lock color variance, and we're going to set to vary the green, red, and blue. So now we got um, some different colors for our confetti, just like that. 
And that's how you get um, just a real quick confetti effect. There's actually a lot you can do, um, especially in the particle emitter. Um, and it's so it's a pretty basic setup here. We just have a particle emitter, a renderer, and we have a rectangle that we're using for the, uh, the particle engine. Um, there's a lot of settings you can do in here. You can change the velocity and the speed, the rotation, the size, um, coloring, um, a whole lot of things you can do with the uh, the particle thing. So I might play around with this some more and see if uh, see what other things I can do. But for now, I like I'm kind of liking what what we got here. Okay, there we are. We have our confetti done. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm still learning here. You got to try stuff out. You got to be creative, and you got to keep pushing forward. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I got a lot more coming. It's going to be really fun. I'll see you soon. Thanks.